The Atlantis may take pride of place at the crest of the palm, but this familiar site is slowly being overshadowed by a new building. This is the Royal Atlantis Resort and Residences. The building work started in 2015. This huge project is built on 2,100 piles drilled up to 45 metres into the ground. Up to 10,000 people are working on this project and it's all due to be finished by Q4 2020. When it's completed, you can expect to see stunning water and fire displays, more celebrity restaurants, more than 90,000 square metres of glass, enough to cover 10 FIFA football pitches. Everything here is on a big scale, which you start to appreciate when you head to the upper floors. It's 500 metres long and 185 metres tall, dwarfing its older brother. And yet it will have around half the number of hotel rooms. The rest of the building will provide 231 homes, ranging from two-bedroom apartments to five-bed penthouses and garden suites. Prices start at 1.9 million US dollars. And half of those rooms and residences will enjoy this as their view, the Palm Jumeirah and the Dubai skyline. And with all that hot weather in Dubai, there are plenty of ways to cool down. On top of these seven or eight public swimming pools, there are 89 private pools, including this one on the 42nd floor, which is overhanging the edge of the building. With such a unique offering, including those overhanging swimming pools, the marketing effort to sell those residences is also unique to each potential client. We tailor our approach, it's not a script, it's much more consultative and you know, we will obviously engineer our approach around what's important to the client. With this it's not just buying property, it's not bricks and mortar, you're very much joining an exclusive community, very much lifestyle led, so we have to really play on that. We've done a lot of activities with our marketing and sales strategy which are experiential. Having the sales suite here and the show apartment above kind of really brings that dream and vision to reality. So it's yeah, very critical to what we do. So you say this is an important part of the, the process. It all looks very impressive, but how does it work? We can isolate units of interest uh, and then we can display them on the, on the screen, which I'm happy to do so now. Come on, show me. If I was to show you uh, one of the very top units that we currently have within the project, uh, 3301 is a full floor penthouse. Um, I'll actually expand it onto the screen. So if you want to push the I can the touch the screen then. Yeah. And then you can really get a sense of the layout, the space um, on offer. Uh, we also uh, present the aspect. So this particular residence has incredible views um, already above the height of Atlantis the Palm, but you've got both the city skyline views, palm views. So in the evening especially, you'll see all the skyscrapers of Dubai, which is very impressive. Uh, and then the sea views to the opposite elevation. So four bedrooms, 33rd floor. I, I can now get a sense of where I am. I can sort of see the space, but I, I'm not getting the touchy-feely bit. So you've got the show apartment here as well. How important is that in making that conversion? from deep interest to an actual sale. Every part of the journey here has been meticulously thought and planned out based on our experience of what we know that uh, you know, a buyer needs to make that decision-making process easier. For some of us, um, you, know, you have to kind of bring it a bit to life. And you know, just touching and feeling the quality is immeasurable to making that conversion rate. Why are you creating Royal Atlantis? I think it was to, to create something that was different and special and unique and a new icon in Dubai. And I think when we look at um, what Atlantis is today, how could we take this plot of land and, and create something that was unique and that was uh, special? And so we looked at Royal Atlantis and we said, okay, we are all things to all people at Atlantis. And, and we are a, a property that appeals to a very distinct uh, audience and a very broad audience. And so we wanted Royal Atlantis to be a little bit different. It's a combination of residences, and it's also hotel product. And then with it, it's also an incredible gastronomy program. And then it also has an incredible emphasis on wellness. So it's kind of combining those four elements together. There's already pretty high profile properties here. What's the advantage, I guess, for adding another one? Royal Atlantis will appeal to a much different audience. It's one that is a little more discerning, one that is looking for more of a personalized luxury experience. And one thing that, that I, I tell and share with the team is, is that you have about five or six Instagrammable moments from your port point of arrival into the Port of Kashir, walking into just the, the lobby alone. And so I think that's a rather special vision for our guests. What type of demand are you seeing so far? 
great demand actually, and especially as the building now is coming to life, suddenly now the customer interest has really grown. So we're excited about that. And um, always the real estate market is, is um, one that's very interesting in Dubai. It can, it can ebb and flow. And I believe on the eve of Expo 2020, we're gonna to start to continue to see that uh, really grow. Hi, I'm James Wright and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.